the Justice, Chief Justice, Justice Muhammad Rafiq, all these bills and their respected spouses, the learned Advocate General, all the learned senior advocates and other members of the High Court Bar Association, the Registrar General and other Registrars of this High Court, the staff and members of the Registry of this High Court. Though I have dilated upon multifarious aspects of law and justice dispensation system, however, the contribution of lawyers is yet wanting in two spheres, and that is in amendments to legislations, and that want of assistance. I would exhort all the learned members of the when you work in courts of law, you experience the snags and loopholes in so many enactments where it has not got to remain there. You express in courts of law that this statute, a particular clause or provision of a statute is ambiguous. It requires an amendment. Those expressions cannot be in any way, in the process of dispensation of justice by courts of law, become remedied because law enacted by legislatures has to be interpreted as it exists on the statute books. Your pain and lament has to be, as I said, in short to be carried forward by your seeking your enlistment in the process of amendments being recommended to various statutes, if deficient there are, by the Law Commission of India. <coughs> Secondarily, the lawyers are the holy men of society. They represent the civilization of society. They represent ethical conduct. Therefore, when laws are enacted by the legislation, legislatures, be it the state legislative assembly or the union parliament, in the process of enactments, there are joint parliamentary committees dealing with a particular subject, relevant to a particular ministry. In that process, you have to be showing your awareness that those amendments or enact new amendments in any sphere of law, any sphere governing the civilized society, and to correct disarray and disorder. You have to go for and represent your point of view before the joint parliamentary committees concerned. I hope that you shall take up that endeavor. Though many of you are preoccupied with occupational hazards, you may not find time. But I feel that your exactness in tune with changing, ever changing political and social landscapes are brought in the statute book. The Importance of decimation in civilization. If there's a decimation in civilization, the responsibility is because of the lack of introspectivity, introspectivity in the analysis. It is not laws. Multifarious growth of laws does not ensure the upliftment of elixir, which shall ensure upliftment of society, civilization, promotion of truths promotion of good life to all beings is to upliftment of it has to be undertaken by lawyers because as I've said they are the cornerstone, the arc pillars of a civilized society. Therefore I exhort all of you to make contributions in this field. You have but as you know time has come, come where even affidavits are falsified and that is the beginning of a collapse of civilized and ordinary society. As long as it is a duty to ensure, as are pillars and cornerstones of civilized society, that the, there is no further collapse of the pristine ideals of truth and civilization.
Of course, yours is a very exacting profession. There are tiring demands upon you because of the growth and litigation upon your recreation. However, as and when you find time, you take to distress and detoxify your thoughts to watching movies of Lauren Hardy, <laughs> Charlie Chaplin. They shall definitely rear in you much wanted relaxation in your otherwise toiling life. I wish you all the best and thanks for showering some praises upon me, which I shall continuously and steadfastly ensure that I live up to it. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best and good luck. Thank you, Mr. Archer.